Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Vanilla Goals series. We are back and um in the in the time that uh since the last episode I have gotten a lot of progress done. I'm actually very happy with it. If you can't notice, I'm a little snazzier than I was before. That's right everyone. I got full diamond armor almost enchanted out the wazoo i have nearly everything the boots are missing a couple of things the helmet's missing a few things and i think these are basically done i think the only thing i can add is thorns but i can't remember so we got full on everything there and if you also notice we got a new friend over here that's right i've got myself an ender chest which uh likes to freak out occasionally and i have Full diamond gear. I am doing extremely well. Really, the only the only thing that I need to do left is get some netherite. But um, slight problem. I had to take away the nether portal. Now, this wasn't a decision I made because I didn't want to go back into the nether. This was a decision I made because I didn't want to go into that part of the nether. My portal, uh, if you remember correctly, is surrounded by a uh casing if you could say of cobblestone and that cobblestone has kept some things inside uh i actually tried to go back to the nether to get some more resources but it turns out a creeper a couple skeletons and a few zombies managed to go through the portal and i completely forgot that was a thing so yeah we're not going back to that one we'll put a portal somewhere else maybe it'll be closer to another fortress because i know uh the last one wasn't extremely close to one but we have been making great progress otherwise i uh might have killed some pillagers our bees are doing fine uh definitely didn't murder one on accident with a punch um this farm's working out extremely well uh, I got so, two of the villagers over there. There's a reason there's that iron door. I actually forgot villagers could open doors. So this guy got out and now he's uh, he's my alchemist. He's going to be a good source of redstone for emeralds. But that also leads into the plan for today. So I have a couple of things that I want to do. But the main thing I want to get started be, um, is a villager breeder. And that is because I need to get an iron farm going. Because... I, I did go mining for a while. I went caving to um, try and get some, like, slimes because I used uh, a website. can't remember what it is, but I'll put it in later. I used a little thing that said that this chunk um, here. Let me... Ah, this. So it told me that this chunk should be a slime chunk. And I also looked it up. I didn't... Because I've never done slime chunk spawning before. It has to be below level... Y level 40. So I dug all the way down, but I haven't had any luck. And I think that's because um, there's too many things spawning elsewhere. So my slime spawner isn't doing too well because there's plenty of other places for hostile mobs to spawn. And the way that I understand that hostile mobs spawning in this game works is if there's other things spawning, it doesn't give the slimes a chance to spawn by the time I get to a place where they can spawn, if that makes any sense. So basically, that's what's happening there. Um, but... Let's get straight into it because I want to get this villager breeder going and um, I'm going to be using uh, Impulse's tutorial on how to do that. I'll put that link in the description down below. Um, he uses two other references as well. You can go check those out through his video. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to build it over here, probably over this lake actually. Might not be a bad idea because then I can transport them easier. But um, the, I'm, I've also been thinking with all of this stuff I've been putting here, this isn't going to be the main place we live. I want to live in a different area that I find. I kind of want to try and find a mushroom island, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, we're going to put a bunch of our farms here. And yeah, so all that's needed to be done is to get it built and then get some villagers over here. So I'm going to get that going and see you guys in just a little bit.
All right, so I am back, and this thing is officially done. Um, the only thing that's left to do now is to uh, test it, see if it actually works, which I'm hoping it does. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, this part over here. So in the video that I'm, I was using as reference for the build guide, uh, he has a bit of a note saying that the pillow part should be facing the different a different direction than he had it, but I'm assuming this is oh no I messed up one of the beds oh oh no, um, hold up, ooh, come on, ooh, oh no oh did I just screw up this entire thing, oh no this one's facing the wrong way too oh no. Wait, really? Okay, hold up. I gotta fix... I gotta fix that really quick. Alright, that makes me... Okay, yeah. That makes me feel much better about that. So, I just gotta destroy those. Replace these. That's fine. It's just dirt. Okay. Um, so, may, maybe one day I'll clean this all up, but I'm not super worried about it. So, the only thing that's left to do is to stick some villagers in there and see if it works. So, I do have a plan for how I'm going to go about that. Oh, but I didn't have a plan of how to clean this up. So, I do have a plan of how to get a farmer up there, and it involves this piston, this lever, and this dirt. And I don't think it should be too hard. Um, I also set it up so that um, it would be able to give me any excess carrots, because uh, I made it a carrot farm up there. Any excess carrots that the farmer drops. That way I just have a passive source of carrots. Uh, that, that was the design they used in the video. That was 100% not me trying to be creative in any way. Because, yeah. So, I actually have a farmer right in there that, I, I, that I'm going to put in there. But I'm going to grab two fresh villagers because he has a profession. And the other one is a librarian who also has a profession. And they're both locked in, and I definitely want to keep the librarian around because they have the um, the mending book that I want. Hi guys, how you doing? Hello. All right, farmer boy, you ready to become an actual farmer? Because I hope you're ready. All right, pistons have a uh, specific amount of blocks that they can push, and I just reached the limit, and I think it's perfect. Oh, oh, that's not perfect, though. Oh, no. Oh, the hitbox. Ooh. So this is going to be slightly treacherous, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh, man, we're going to destroy all of those crops. Let me get into an area where the crops aren't growing, because I didn't have enough carrots, because I traded them all for emeralds. <gasps> okay. What's the damage? Ooh, not bad. Actually, none at all. So it's not super important. Okay, but I would not like to hit him. Hey, look at this bad boy. Hey, he can't get through there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we just need him to, yeah, work on this thing. So let's grab some of these carrots, actually. And I'm going to plant some so that he has a couple more to pull from. I'm pretty sure as these plants are grown that uh, he'll replant them, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure they like fill out empty spots, but I can't remember if that's a mechanic. All right, so I'm gonna get him all set up and then I'm gonna grab some fresh villagers and we'll be right back. All right, so we are back over here. I managed to nab two more villagers from the original place where I nabbed them from uh, because I had to go over the ocean instead of going across land like we did and uh if people have ever watched the uh couch party malarkey episode uh that's my other channel that i did with uh my good friends matt and zane for a little while there uh we we did this a similar thing with uh transporting villagers over boats in order to get some trading going um and uh hilarity ensued no. oh 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 don't kill them right. they're my lifeline let me if they kill attack. Oh, I'm oh. so st uh, dogs. But um, we have since learned that transporting over land is much harder than over water, 
So I got these two guys. Uh, only one of them didn't have a profession locked in because apparently I traded with almost every single villager that was there. And I've traded with him, so he's locked in as an alchemist. And I've traded, obviously, with the book person because I want their books. So, yeah. So I don't know what that guy's doing right now, but it doesn't look like he's doing his job. Oh, he is working. <gasps> oh, and he does place other ones. I did not place those for sure. Oh, that's awesome. I've never actually seen them work before. This is actually really cool. Dude, you are amazing. <laughs> and this will be the gateway. All right, well, we have made our villager breeder. Now, the only thing that I don't know is how well it's gonna work. And I kind of want a dirt tower back up this way, just so I can watch from afar. The only thing that's really left to do is uh, sit and wait. So, yeah. Um, um, okay. I think something might have gone wrong. I think, I think I placed the beds in the incorrect way. So I'm gonna have to replace those I'm gonna have to move the villagers again. Um, I mean, it's nighttime, so they should go to bed, I would think. I don't really know how to fix this without, like, almost ruining everything. Uh, why did you plant some wheat? That's not allowed. Why do you- what? Okay, well, seems like there are some kinks to work out, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix those. All right, after looking over some other materials, I realized that uh, the video that I'm using as reference had this happen as well. So the, the way that it got fixed is it just fixed itself after nighttime came around and someone slept. So I'm basically just going to wait till nighttime rolls around, sleep, and see if he goes back to where he's supposed to go. Um, oh, 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 oh my god. Wait a second. Do we, no, it works. It, it, it just works. What? No, no way. I got a baby down there. <gasps> yes. Okay. That makes me extremely happy, but I would also like to know if you are going to be okay. Um, also another thing I should probably do is put a roof over this. It was recommended um, because if lightning strikes any of these villagers, they're going to turn into witches and that's not fun for anyone. So I'll probably put some sort of slab roof over it, um, kind of like this, uh, in the future. But right now I'm not super worried about it because yeah, I just want it to be ready to go. And if this villager breeder works the way that I hope it will, then we're going to get plenty of villagers to help us around. All right. So now we just got to wait for sundown. Ah, all right, so now it's starting to get to be a little bit nighttime, so these two are sleeping in a bed, so let's hope that when we wake up that they're both in the same spot that they're supposed to be. Nope, he does not like going into that spot with that other villager. I wonder why that is. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a problem right now, because... are Wait, are they breeding? Did another baby just get... No, they're definitely... They definitely are, right? Wait, is the second baby about to appear? Okay, I don't think a second baby has appeared. Oh, no! Second baby has appeared! So wait, is it because the, uh... <laughs> the other villagers outside of the thing? Making it so that, um... Oh, that's, that's so weird. I wonder... I wonder why that's happening like that. So it's probably because he has a bunch of stacks of carrots in his inventory. They have a bunch of stacks of carrots in their inventory because they're the only one getting any. Does So I'm assuming this third villager just doesn't have anything. That's so weird. I mean, it still works. And holy moly. I haven't been here that long and I've already gotten like a little bit more than a stack. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, a cat has spawned. Um, One second. Ooh, ooh. Hi. Ooh. <gasps> yes! I got a cat now. Wait, wait, come with me. Come with me, kitty. Come with me. All right, kitty, you're about to get a name, and I have the perfect one for you. I just need you to move over this way a little bit. That's right. I'm naming my cat Lonk. 
because I won't be able to do it in real life. Oh, you're such a cutie, aren't you? Okay, um, so that's actually some good things kind of going on here. So the only thing I have, uh, <laughs> the only thing that's telling me about that cat is uh, because it's spawned, this area counts as a village now. Meaning, if I get some of those raiders and uh, I kill the one with the banner, uh, I can't be anywhere near this area. Um, and that's going to be a bit of an issue because I've had raiders come by a couple of times. And yeah, that's not going to be good because then if I get, a, I mean, if I get a raid, I could keep these guys decently safe, I would think. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, that does mean iron golems will start spawning, though, at nighttime. I mean, it depends on if they see a monster, but iron golems would start spawning now, which is the next thing that I want to do. I need to set up a, uh, an iron farm so I can start getting more opportunities opened up to do some more automation because the biggest limiting factor for me with doing, like, an automatic melon farm or um, some more crazy, like, hopper-related things is lack of iron. Now, I do have quite a bit of iron right now because of a mining trip. But, uh, oh, hi, Lonk. <laughs> um, I do have a bit of iron right now because of a mining trip I went on. But um, it's not going to be nearly enough. Especially with some of the stuff that I want to do. Like um, setting up a little trading center where I have to get... A zombie that hits hits a villager, turns them into a zombie villager, I transport them away, and it's it's too complicated for my small pea brain. But hey, other people can do it, so I might have a chance. But yeah, so I would say today's been extremely successful. We set up a villager breeder, and we got these two little cuties over here. We got a passive carrot farm going on. I'll probably set up like an actual farm farm. Because I know there's a way to make it so that um, you can just have these guys automatically collect food for you. Uh, which would be extremely nice for trading purposes. Not for food food purposes. Because I've done so much AFK fishing that at this point I will never need to get food for a while. If I just rely on uh, fish. Um, yeah, if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of stacks of raw fish in here. So, that's gonna be a bit interesting. I thought I was cooking something, but... Hi, kitty. Uh, I'm actually going to, uh... Whoop. There we go. So, yeah, this... it. I mean, it works, mostly. I don't know what's going on with that guy. Hopefully that'll fix himself eventually, but I'm not confident in that happening. At least for the moment. So I just wonder if it's like a, a matter of like one getting into that spot before the other. Meaning that it doesn't count it as a valid spot for that second villager to be in. Because I know there's a uh, there's an overcrowding thing with mobs in a small amount of area. Making it so that if there's too many mobs in the area, some of them will die. Which, you know, isn't fun. <laughs> when you're trying to do something like this where they're crammed all in like a small little area. But, I mean, it seems like it's working pretty well. So, yeah, I think that's where we're going to have to leave it off for now. Um, I think next time I'm probably going to change around the bee farm. Probably going to destroy this and set up a new thing. I'll uh, probably figure out what I'm going to do with uh, my trader over there with the mending book. And this guy over here. Um, oh, I should set up another portal to the nether. And, honestly, we should get to the end in probably the next three episodes or so. I, I want to be able to fight the Ender Dragon and get myself some wings. Because then I can travel around and find out where I want to put my home. Which would be freaking epic. Because this is going to be my little AFK spot, I think. And I'll probably set up some sort of, like, nether system? I really want to set up that sort of thing. Alright, so... Um... Yeah, so... Like I said earlier, this is probably where we're going to leave it today. Because... Yeah. Oh, they're going to make another baby. Oh, no, they're going to make another baby, aren't they? Are they? Oh, no, they had an argument. They don't want to make another baby. Oh, maybe? 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 Nah, no babies. But I keep trying to end it, but... Oh, there's another kitty. Oh, I want you so bad. 
but I don't. Uh, because it makes me... Really? What are you... Bad. 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 I have to clear out this entire area. Oh! Well, that gives me an excuse to uh, clean this up a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, with that, everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys keep having a great day if you already are. And I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs> Villager breeder. Bye-bye!